I am just trying to see if there is a, yeah, so this one seems interesting, okay. Aha, okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, I have an 80 volt source. 80 volt source. Voltage okay. source. Okay. okay. In series, in series you can draw the resistance horizontally, 5 okay. ohms. Okay. Another 10 ohm in series. Okay. Then a shunt of 50 ohm resistance. Can I close the loop here? Now you can close the loop, yes. Okay. Okay. I will take the value of the resistors later. Yeah. Okay. Then there is from the 10 ohm there on top. Okay. You go in series with the 20 ohm. Uh, oh, okay. I have another resistance yes, here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 20 ohm. I have a current source here. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is like. Okay. Like this. Is yes, this correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, and uh -huh. then you have a 20 volt source on the other end. I have a 20 volt source on the other side. And okay. I close this? You close the loop. Okay, okay. Okay, so, so the resistors going left to right are 5 ohms, 10 ohms, and 20 ohms. The shunt is 50 ohms. 50 ohms. And the voltage source is 20 volt. And the current source is? 2 amperes. 2 amperes. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. This is an interesting problem. And so, what are we asked to find? Yeah, let us say we want to find the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor. Ah, okay. From let left to right? Say. Left to right, yes. Left to right. So we want to find out this voltage. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay. So this is some uh, Vx unknown voltage. Yes. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, well, again, you can do uh, brute force KVL, KCL. Yeah. Mesh equations and do it. Yes. Or use superposition. Or use superposition. We will use super. Now that we know superposition is a very powerful technique. Yes. We will use it. We should use it. Absolutely. We should use it. Right. So we will do apply the voltage and current sources one by one. Yes. So which one do you want to try first? Um, so let's only keep the uh, 80 volt first. 80 volt source. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the 2 amp becomes an open circuit. open circuit, the 20 volt becomes a short circuit. Short circuit. Okay. Right. So, so my network becomes a little bit simpler I believe. So this is my primary loop that does not yes. change and now 20 volt becomes a short circuit. So, so I get a network like exactly. this Yeah. and the other one becomes an open circuit. Right. Yes. I can the just current source is an open circuit. Open circuit. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So, this Populate is the numbers, 5 ohms, 10 ohms, 50 ohms and 20, 20 ohms. ohms. This is 80, 80 volt. volt. Yes. I am actually interested in Vx1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I see that 50 ohms and 20 ohms are in parallel. Are in parallel, yes. So, this portion basically is a resistance equivalent to uh, 100, uh, sorry, 1000, uh, 1000 by, 70. by 70. Okay. Okay. And uh, then the rest of the network can be populated around that. Eighty volt. Right. Okay. So from here you find the current. Yes. Okay. I find out this current. Yeah. Multiply that by ten. Ten ohms. So right. V X one one is basically going to be 80 by 80 by 5 plus 10 plus 1000 uh, 100 by 7 100 by 7 exactly times 10 yeah great okay so okay. this is one uh, value of vx1 okay so it's like 50 120 220 and uh, 7 goes on top yeah that's right so and uh, I, so this is uh, so, Six, 7 into 800, ah. correct, by uh, 35, oh, you already did that. Oh, no, 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 oh, I, so 35, 35 plus 70, 70 105, 105, 205. Yeah. So, this is 5600. Yes. Okay. Volts. Volts. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Then my next, uh, uh, to, uh, second, uh, I am going to simplify. Let me take this. Yeah. Yes. So, 
Now, shall we keep the current source? Yes, let's do the current source. Yeah. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> Let me. So, only 2 amperes. 2 amperes. Okay. Okay. So, now we just the short. 80 volts mm. and 20 volts will be shorted. So, my circuit will become like this. This is shorted. Uh, let me give myself some space. This is shorted. Yeah. 5 ohms. 5 ohms. I have my 10 ohms. 10 ohms. I have my 50 ohms. And I have my 20 ohms, 20 ohms and this is also shorted. Yeah. And I need my current source here. Yes. Okay, this is my 2 ampere current source. Yeah. <coughs> okay. 5 ohms, 10 ohms, 50 ohms, and 20 ohms. And now I can see that. Uh, I can now simplify this for further. Of course, I have 50 and 20 in uh, parallel. That became 1000 by 70. Yes. I again have 1000 by 70. I am still interested in this voltage. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, okay. So, now I am not, uh, let me try redrawing it yeah. to see if we can understand it a little bit better. So, I am going to redraw it vertically because sometimes yes. it helps to draw it like this. Yeah. So, uh, let me name, um, yeah, let me name these A and B. So, yeah. this is A and B. Current, and but the current is going from A to B. Uh, current is flowing from A to B, uh, right? You have to draw it oh, downwards. I have to draw, oh, okay, okay. I nom them, name them wrongly. Yeah. So, A exactly. current is flowing from A yes. to B. And um, from A, I have a 10 ohm resistance. From B, I have a 20 ohm resistance. Okay. So, already I can see that uh, this is also B. Exactly. Right? Yes. So, I have B connected here. This is also B. Absolutely. So, already I have 50 and 20. Yes. Between, uh, mm. let us call this node C. C. Right? Yeah. So, between A and C, I have 10 ohms. Yes. So, maybe I will draw that node C here. Mm. So, between A and C, I have 10 ohms. Yeah. And between C and B, yeah. I have uh, 1000 by, uh, uh, by 70, 100 by, by 7, 100 by 70, 100 by, by 7, 7, right, between B and C. Yeah. So, between B and C, I have 100 by 7 ohms and between A and B, I have 5 ohms. Yes. All right. So, I can draw it like this. Up, uh, this is correct? Yeah. Yeah. A and B. Ah. So, now, this side no, I only no, have no. C. So, yeah. I have to draw it like this. So, this tells me that I should have redrawn it differently. Yes. Right. Mm. So, let me uh, draw it a little bit better. So, now let me draw that resistance first because mm. that then helps. So, between A and B, I have 5 ohms. So, this is 2 amperes. Yes. Uh, this is 5 ohms. Yeah. So, this is this. Yeah. And now I can draw the rest. Yeah. So, basically, I have one resistance, another resistance. Maybe this is better. Yeah. So, between B and C, I have uh, 20 ohms. Uh, no, no, actually 100 by, 100 by 7. And here I have the 10 ohm. 10 ohm. 10 ohm resistor. Yes. Okay. Now, this seems a better drawing. Actually, it is very similar to what we have drawn before. Exactly. Right. So, redrawing a few couple of times helped us. Yes. Now, I just need to make sure I want VAB. Yes. Right. This across. Uh, uh, no, sorry. No, you need VAC. VAC. So, this is the voltage that I want. Yes. So, we should not forget that. Yeah. I will call that VX2. Okay. So, now it is 2 amps across 2 resistors. So, yes. we know how to do this. We know again. how to do this. I need to find out uh, this current. Yes. Right. So, let us say these are uh, I1 and I2. Yeah. I know that I2 depends on the 5 ohm, 5 ohm in the resistor. numerator. Yes. So, basically I2 yes. is basically 2 amperes Into times 5, five divided by, by 5 plus 100 by 7, 7 plus 10. 10. Because that's a series. This yes, a series. Yes, exactly. Okay. So this is basically I two is basically two amperes at ten, and I can take seven. So I'm going to say it is going to be seventy. Yes. 
by uh, 35 plus uh, 70 yeah, 205. Yes, is this correct? Is this correct? Yeah. Amperes. Amperes. So we had, okay, in the other case we had this. Yeah. Right? And uh, now, now you need the voltage. I need the voltage Vx2. Now Vx2 is actually minus I2 times 10. Yes. Because I2 is flowing in this direction. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So Vx2 is actually minus I2 times 10 ohms. Yes. So which is minus 700 by 205 volts. Yes. Okay. Great. So Good. now next job is to find out uh, Vx3, the last, the last yes. source. So which is basically only uh, the third source. So let me first redraw this circuit. Hmm. So my, I want to find out the circuit when I'm applying only the 20 only volt. 20 volt. Okay. So I need to redraw this short circuit 80 volts, 80 volt, open, open circuit, circuit the 2 amperes. Yeah. Okay. So I basically have short circuit. First draw it by opening up the sources, then we can redraw it. Redraw it. So that always seems to be easier yeah. in many ways. And naming the nodes sometimes also helps. Correct. Is this correct? I yes, have open circuit. So yeah. this is 20 volts. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 resistances. Correct. 20 ohms, 50 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, and, and 5 ohms. 5 ohms. So okay. Have, right? So and uh, what do we this want? voltage we want is Vx3. Yeah. So this again is easy to solve. Uh, we have many resistors and uh, current sources. So first step is to find out the total current. Yeah, the total and current. And then we can find out, yeah. right? So I first want to find out I. Yes. Okay. So what I will do, I will, uh, let us make a copy. Make and a copy of this. Let me get, get some space. So yeah. what I'm going to do is, okay, I think I lost Vx3. Okay. I'm going to simplify this circuit because I know that this portion can be simplified. Yes. I have 10 and 5 in series, series in and that is coming in parallel with 50, 50. right? So, 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 I will first redraw it like this. We will probably show every step yeah. along the way. Yes. So, so I have 15 ohms. 15 and parallel with 50 oh, the, together in series with 20 volts. And 20 volts. 20 volts. Well. Yeah. And now I will convert that 50 in parallel with 15. Yes. Is basically 15, 750, yes, by 750 by 65. By 65. 750 by 65. 150 by 13. 150 by 13. 13. Okay. Uh, maybe we will just write, leave it like this. Okay. 750 by 65. Yeah. And we will say that it is 150 by 30. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ohms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And uh, I basically have 20 ohms and 20 volts. Yeah. Now I know this current. Yes. I wanted to find out I. I. And I is nothing but 20 by 20 volts. Yeah. By 20 ohms plus 150 by 13 ohms. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically 260 by 260 plus 150. By 260 plus 150 is 410. 410, yes. Right? 26 by 41. 26 by 41 amperes. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Once I have found this, I have to go back here. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because now, you have the current. I want the current in this path. Yes. So I will call that some I2. This current is I1. Yeah. I know that. Uh, current I2 is what I want. So that, that depends on 50, 50 ohms, ohms by something. So let us do that. So I2 is basically I times uh, 50. 50 by 50 plus 10, 10 plus 15. 5. Plus 5. Yeah. Plus 5. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So I2 is basically 26 by 41. Yeah times uh, 50 by uh, 65. 65. So this can be simplified slightly, I think yeah, it's 13, 2 and 13, 5. 
right? Ten, and this is ten by forty one. Uh, twenty by forty one. Ah, twenty by forty one. Correct. By forty one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, V X three now. Yes. Interestingly, is again negative. Is negative because right? it's going the opposite Correct. direction, right? V X three is minus I two times ten ohms. Yeah. So minus two hundred by forty one amps. Amps. Yes. So of course V X is nothing but V X one plus V X two plus V X three. Yeah. Okay. So V X one was uh, part one. We said is fifty six fifty six hundred by two point five. Plus V X two was uh, uh, minus seven hundred by two point five. The last one. Last one is up here. Uh, minus two hundred. Can by multiply 40. by five actually. Yes. So maybe we'll just write it like yeah. this. So minus thousand by two point five. Yeah. Right. Plus. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So let us see if we can simplify this a little bit further. Fifty six hundred minus seven hundred is forty nine hundred. Forty nine hundred. Minus thousand thirty nine hundred. By two hundred. Right. This can probably be, I think by forty one you can you can simplify this. Yes, but, uh, exactly. Basic uh, idea Some, is exactly yeah. right. Volt, volt, volts. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is the voltage, right? So volts. Perfect volts. Great. Okay. So I think uh, with that we have uh, at least exposed the viewers to how to deal with a current source. That's but right. But ultimately the fundamental principles are the same that we did with voltage sources right the same how the current distributes across the resistor that's parallel correct. resistors series and all that so uh, correct the only difference is when you are deenergizing the current source you have to open circuit to it open and not circuit short circuit and it. not short circuit that's right correct. okay great okay so with that let's maybe stop here for the problem solving session 2 sure and uh, let's get back to some more experiments and yes thank you thank you mm -hmm.